Welcome back, it's Melanie of She Shed Scrapper. So today I am back with a two-page layout using the Reese Collection from Felicity Jane. I am also using that stamp die um, from Close to My Heart that is still available or should be if it's um, not out of stock right now, but they should be bringing it back. I have some scrap pieces and these six by six pieces of paper, so I decided to use some of those because one thing that I do struggle with when I use Felicity Jane is, especially when I make a two-page layout, is stretching the papers. So you only get one page, one sheet of each design, and so it can get tricky when you're doing a two-page layout to kind of stretch that and then also I struggle there aren't very many um embellishments that really come with the collection so I do struggle sometimes with embellishing as well again especially on a two-page layout so I am going to be kind of just lining my photos up across the page. I am going to end up using some flip flaps because I have so many photos from this day. So I am just going to line them up across the page. This is at a lavender farm next to us. Um, and so the middle one on page two is going to have the flip flap over top of it. Um, I try to be artistic and take some up close photos of the lavender. Um, the one photo there has a B, I believe, um, on the lavender. And so I, again, tried to be artistic. But here's where I'm kind of trying to figure out, okay, now I need to kind of line up the photos. So it looks like I do two and a half inches um, on this I guess I think those are flowers and so I'm going to end up just adding those to the top and the bottom all the way across I liked that diagonal stripe but I couldn't get them to line up otherwise I might have flipped them over and used that diagonal stripe there um, so I'm just going to line these up top and bottom just because I needed to extend it and I wanted the layout to kind of flow across the page. So obviously I have a gap between the photos and this paper, um, but that is also going to help me kind of extend another pattern paper as well. So I do fill in that gap. Um, I've already made a layout with this collection, so that was part of my problem too was kind of just using what I had left over. I am using this purple. I wanted to incorporate purple in a lot of different ways because obviously we're at a lavender farm. Um, so I did use the purple cardstock here that is included with the um, collection kit or the paper, I guess. Uh, and just like how that kind of adds that barrier between the pattern paper and the um, photos there. So again, kind of a basic, a basic layout, I guess, at least the base page, you know, um, the photos lined up across the page. And then I do have that smaller, I think it's a three by three size um, with that kind of postage stamp die cut that I cut out. Uh, with Felicity Jane, a lot of times I struggle with titles as well. So before I started the layout, I went into my stash and found these gold letters um, that I'm going to piece together that says Everyday Beauty. It's just so, I don't know, lavender fields are just really beautiful. Um, and so I thought it was like the perfect title. So I did have to end up squeezing them together to get the everyday kind of between the B and the T on beauty. Um, kind of had to squeeze them together to fit it in there. Okay. And I think I actually go back and maybe fix it even more. So here's the ephemera pack. This is what I have left. Not everything really I love for this layout. And so I am kind of sorting out what I could possibly use for this layout and what kind of just doesn't doesn't work so much for this layout. Um, 
Again, really wanted to kind of utilize all of the purple embellishments as well. Um, and so, you know, I just have them kind of all over the photo there. Uh, I wanted to incorporate some gold elsewhere because I didn't want the only gold on the page to be the title. So there is this banner piece here and that is gold. So I did like the way that that filled it in a little bit. Still a little plain. So you can see I'm kind of playing around with um, how to kind of spruce that banner up. So on the kind of gold puffy stickers there are some gold um, leaves there that I'm trying to kind of play with um, see if I want to use those I have these frames from Pink Fresh Studio that I thought there was a purple one that maybe I could use somewhere on the layout um, again just struggle embellishing sometimes when I use Felicity Jane um, because there's not much and I've also kind of picked some I've already used some of the embellishments on a different layout, not pick some out, um, use some out. So I am still kind of playing around with embellishing. I not, I'm not gonna lie. I was definitely frustrated, um, with this layout. I, I have a hard time piecing together embellishments that don't, come with the collection. So a lot of times if you have been watching, I kind of buy a lot of a collection and that helps me helps me embellish my layouts. Um when I don't have a lot, um I tend to struggle. I a lot of times don't go to my stamp and dies like I should. Um and quite honestly, I thought during this layout that I would have enough. And so I didn't pre-plan um, with going through my stash. And it's a little tricky now, too. I'm inside, so I don't have all of my embellishments at, you know, right next to me. I don't love stopping recording and then starting again. Um, so I really needed to figure out what I had kind of next to me and what would work. So I luckily did have a few um, of the photo containers full of embellishments. This one here is really old. I think it's an old crepe paper collection. On, I don't even know what it's called. I got it at Tuesday morning ages, of, ages ago. Uh, but I have kept it because there's gold. There's just some pieces in there that would work with a lot of different things. And so I am kind of going through, there are some flowers that I end up using, some leaves that I kind of piece together as well. Uh, so you can see still playing around with what to use and how to embellish. I do like how that flower fills in that space between those two photos there. Um, and then down on the bottom here, there's another kind of acetate floral piece. Um, and so I do end up using that with that bow and then sneak in another kind of leaf I think is gold down there. So I am going to commit to those at least. Um, and I, I tend to not like the layouts where I kind of have to piece it together. I don't tend to like my layouts as much um, as if they were to all the pieces came with the same collection. Uh, looking back at this one now, I like it a lot better than I think I did when I created it. Um, but again, it just... It's a struggle sometimes for me. So I am going to add that tag to the top and then kind of use that as a base for a cluster. There is a gold star that is part acetate too from that crepe paper that I'm going to add to the top with a phrase. There's another phrase I'm adding down to the bow and the flower at the bottom. Um, and that is kind of going to be right about how how the layout finishes. I am going to add a small um, cluster kind of under that three by three photo there. I actually, because I'm inside, do ask my husband sometimes um, his opinion. And 
he didn't love all of the white on page one um and so what he 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 suggested and i kind of agree was to kind of add some maybe stamping underneath there and so off camera i did indeed add a stamp underneath that three by three photo and then a little bit off of the page under the banner as well. I don't think it's in these close-ups, but I do know that it's in the layout share that is posted that will be posted tomorrow. So stay tuned for that and actually check that out because I have my youngest helping me with that layout share as well. And he always loves when you guys comment um, on videos that he helps with. But that is going to finish off this layout. I hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you next time. Bye, guys.